morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Catholic Mass at St. Henry Catholic Church in Gresham, Oregon. My name is Father Charles Zock. Today we celebrate the Tuesday in the first week of Ordinary Time. Let's begin in song with Psalm 91. Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. He will release me from the nets of all my foes. He will protect me from their wicked hands. Beneath the shadow of his wings I will rejoice to find a dwelling place secure. Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night, nor the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. As we begin the first Sunday of Ordinary Time, we now read and listen and get the ministry of Jesus meditating in our mind. So let's pause a moment and open our hearts so our ears will be attentive to the word this day. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that we may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen through Christ our Lord. Amen. reading from the letter to the, to the Hebrews. It was not to angels that God subjected the world to come of which we are speaking. Instead, someone has testified somewhere. What is man that you are mindful of him or the son of man that you care for him? You made him for a little while lower than the angels. You crowned him with glory and honor, subjecting all things under his feet. In subjecting all things to him, he left nothing not subject to him. Yet at present we do not see all things subject to him, but we do see Jesus crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death. He who for a little while was made lower than the angels that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that he, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the leader to their salvation perfect through suffering. He who consecrates and those who have been consecrated all have one origin. Therefore, he is not ashamed to call them brothers, saying, I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The response. 
responsorial psalm. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. O Lord our God, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. You have made him little less than the angels, and crowned him with glory and honor. You will have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the sea. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Receive the word of God, not as the word of men, but as it truly is. The word of God. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the first chapter of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We concentrate on Jesus' ministry during these 34 weeks of ordinary time. He comes preaching with authority today. We heard all about that at his baptism. God the Father gave him authority. This is my beloved son. We also repeated it in the psalm. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. And so Jesus will speak to us very clearly over 34 weeks. And we can continue to pray, may his fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of the United States, not just of Galilee. So today we want to concentrate a little bit on what comprises authority. <laughs> Authority is something we who receive the consequences of authority give to the one in authority. So Jesus came having authority, preached and taught with authority, but what really caught the attention of the people is he lived 
and showed authority. They were especially impressed with his healing and driving out demons. Today we want to ask ourselves, to whom do we give moral and spiritual authority in our own lives? Do they have the source of authority from God? Do they teach and preach it? Do they talk the talk? Do they live it out in their lives, showing it by their deeds, walking the walk? It starts with us looking at an authority figure, trusting them, developing a relationship as we do with Jesus Christ, and then we develop an interior authority so we know ourselves how to act. Not like the scribes. And who are the scribes in our world today? The ones who perhaps talk the talk, but don't always walk the walk. Or they interpret as it suits them. So today we want to take a good look at Jesus Christ as the authority and those given lawful authority over us from God. But we too have to develop our own interior authority based on that relationship with Jesus Christ. We do that, working on that our entire life. Let us now stand and make these petitions to our Heavenly Father. Today, as we approach inauguration of our next president, we pray for a peaceful transition of power and authority, that there be healing of all the divisions in our country. We pray to the Lord. To the Lord. Let us pray today for those who died in our parish on Sunday. Mary Lafferty, many of you remember her, and Steve Stratton. May they rest in peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we pray for all of our caregivers, those especially involved in health care, and for our first responders. We make all of these our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Through this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Sisters and brothers, we pray together that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, 
Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Alexander and Peter our bishops, with all the clergy and your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and the glory are yours now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us share a sign.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body of Christ, keep me safe. communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve you with lives pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night, nor the air. Although a thousand strong have fallen at my side, I'll not be shaken with the Lord at hand. His faithfulness and love is all the armor that I need to wage my battle with the foe. Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord, the God. 